solutions of a system of linear equations in the previous video we saw the examples based on the gauss elimination method today we will see the examples based on the gauss jordan method first of all let's see what's the working rule for the gauss jordan method and then we'll start with our example Considering the system of equations a11 x plus a12 y plus a13 z is equal to b1, a21 x plus a22 y plus a23 z is equal to b2, a31 x plus a32 y plus a33 z is equal to b3. The next step will be to write the matrix form of the system, which will be ax is equal to b. For the matrix A, the first row will be the coefficients of the equation 1, which is A11, A12, A13. Then the second row will be the coefficients of the equation 2, which is A21, A22, A23. And the third row will be the coefficients of the equation 3, which is A31, A32 and A33 multiplied by x which is x y and z is equal to b which is b1 b2 b3 then our next step will be to write the augmented form of the matrix which is a we can keep a dashed line or a dotted line or we can draw a line and write the matrix b A, the line B, which is the augmented form of the matrix. So here we'll just copy the matrix A. A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32 and A33. A line in between. And then we'll write the matrix B, which is B1, B2, B3. Then we'll perform some row transformations. And we'll reduce this coefficient matrix to a unit matrix. By performing the row transformations, we'll reduce this matrix to a unit matrix. The unit matrix will be like this. The diagonal elements will be 1 and rest of the elements will be 0. And suppose here we get the values as d1, d2, d3. Then we'll write the equations from this. This is our unit matrix. From here, we'll write the equations, which will be x is equal to d1. Then from the second row, we'll have y equal to d2. And from the third row, we'll have z equal to d3. So this is the working rule of the Gauss-Jordan method. Now we'll solve an example. The question is, using Gauss-Jordan method, solve the following system of equations. 3x minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 2, 4x plus y plus 2z is equal to 4, 2x minus y plus 4z is equal to 7. Our first step will be to write the matrix form of the system, which is ax is equal to b. The coefficients of the first equation are 3 minus 2 and 5. Then from the second equation, the coefficients are 4, 1, 2 and from the third equation the coefficients are 2, minus 1, 4. Then we'll write the matrix X which is X, Y, Z and it will be equal to the matrix B which is right hand side of all three equations that is 2, 4, 7. Then we'll write the augmented matrix of the system, 
which is A and B. Just copy the matrix A. 3 minus 2, 5. 4, 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 4. And write the matrix B. 2, 4, 7. Now we'll apply row transformations. We want to convert this matrix to a unit matrix. Our first step is to make this 3, 1. And in the third row you can see 2, which is the first element of the third row. So we can perform a simple row operation, which is R1 minus R3, because 3 minus 2 will be 1. So on performing this row transformation, we get the first row as 1, minus 1, 1, minus 5. Second row will be as it is and third row will also be as it is. Then the next thing that we want to do is to make this 4 and this 2 as 0. For that we will perform the row transformation as R2 minus 4 R1 because 4 multiplied by 1 it will give 4 and 4 minus 4 will give 0. Same way 2 multiplied by 1 will give 2 and 2 minus 2 will give 0. So we will perform the row transformation as R3 minus 2 R1. On performing the row transformation we get the second row as 0, 5, minus 2, 24. The third row as 0, 1, 2, 17. And the first row will be as it is. 1 minus 1 1 minus 5 then the next row transformation that we want to perform is to make this 5 as 1 and this minus 1 as 0 and this one also as 0 for that in order to make this 5 as 1 below 5 we can see 1 in the third row, we can see this 1, which is below 5. So we'll perform a very simple row transformation, which is just interchange the two rows. So we'll perform the row transformation as R2, 3, which is interchanging the rows 2 and 3. So here in the second row, we'll write the third row which is 0, 1, 2, 17 and in place of third row we'll write our second row which is 0, 5, minus 2, 24. Now the next thing that we want to do is minus 1 and 5. We want to make them 0. For that we'll perform the row transformation as R1 plus R2 because minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 and R3 minus 5 R2 as 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. We'll write the first row after row transformation which is 1 0 3 12 and the third row will be second row being the same third row 0 0 minus 12 minus 61 the next row transformation will be for this minus 12 we want to make it 1 then 2 and 3 we want that as 0 firstly we will perform a row transformation to make this minus 12 as 1 we just need to divide the whole row by minus 12 so we'll write it as R3 into minus 1 by 12. First and second row will be the same. 1, 0, 3, 12. 0, 1, 2, 17. And the third row will be 0, 0, 1, 61 by 12.
then as I told you that we want to make this 3 and 2 as 0. For that it's simple. We'll multiply the third row by 3. So 3 minus 3 will be 0. And then we'll multiply the third row by 2. So 2 minus 2 will be 0. Which is first row operation will be R1 minus 3 R3. And second row operation will be R2 minus 2 R3. First row is 1 0 0 minus 13 by 4. And then the second row is 0 1 0 41 by 6. You can perform the calculations using your calculator. Then 0 0 1 and 61 by 12. Now as you can see, we have got our unit matrix. So we'll just write the corresponding system of equations, which will be x is equal to minus 13 by 4, y is equal to 41 by 6, and z is equal to 61 by 12. This is how you can solve the system of equations using the gauss jordan method you'll find the snapshot of this example on my website the link to which is in the description thank you